स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम वेलकम टू इंडियन एजुकेशन We are going to discuss something about the English OPSC ASO. As far I have seen the question papers, I found that you are getting around five to six mark correct error. Yes, the correct error in sentence mode you are getting. Here, what to do is most important thing. Certain tricks you need to be applied along with the rules of the grammar that you must know. Okay. Now see, uh, what things you have to first focus on? Read the sentence carefully, right? So your first task is identifying where the long wrong is. After identifying where the wrong is, then you go for correction. Am I right? In a cool mind, first of all, you have to catch where the mistake is. Then change what the answer will be. See, as for my experience, I have studied the question paper of A show and several UPS, uh, OPSC and UPS examination. Yes, both. Uh, I, I kept to know in what way the correct error is coming uh, for uh, you students. Actually, sentence more correct, the error is coming. And somewhere, paragraph row sequence is also given. That's also one type of correcting error only. Sequency of sentences, are you arranging properly or not? That's a key. Totally skill-based examination, it is. It is not that you will by heart something and you will write or check these things. It needs your brain to be more active and cool. So, I will take you an area where the mistakes they are giving you. If you catch their, you know, blueprint of making question technique, which area they are focusing, you can easily guess which questions will come, for which uh, area the questions they are selecting, tense or preposition or article or word order. You can acquire the uh, rules of that section particular, you will get exact mark. There is nothing difficult, only you have to study the brain of the people who are making questions for you. <laughs> when I went through 10 to 11 question papers, I caught hold of, yeah, this is the framework they are making, these is areas they are selecting. Only words are changing, question is changing. <coughs> so, dear students. See which area they are focusing much while uh, preparing the question paper for English particularly. Uh, I have seen that article 1 or 2 mark position, question take, they are focusing on this. Passivization, part, uh, part of speech plus reported speech. Adjective order and adverb order. See, and noun singular plural and matching with the verb with a noun. That means that subject plus verb agreement they are focusing much about 2-3 marks and interlinking to the model auxiliaries, model verbs. This and preposition, yeah, preposition, they are focusing much. I hope you understand what areas of English you have to cover. So far the grammar section is concerned, right? So. The thing they are much focusing on your uh, noun and verb agreement, mean subject and verb agreement, article one mark, question take one, they are linking with passivization means passive voice, direct and indirect reported speech they are focusing and what order they are focusing, position of adverb and adjective they are focusing, right. But extra one you should have to focus little about the punctuation. Uh, comma, full stop, inverted comma, and all these things are properly given or not. An exclamatory sentence, these things. A uh, very typically they are setting the same questions in different order. So your first duty as a student 
if you take examination as a challenge, you must go through the previous question sets and you can realize from which area what is coming. So, students, I, this is a small video I am just giving you to guide that what to do, what to run. In the next videos, I will tell you from the 10 section or specialization if they are uh, focusing on so how they are making questions, how we have to reply the answer. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much.